Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu held a cabinet meeting on Saturday still without making any mention of the suspected airstrikes on Syria. However, the Minister of Tourism, Uzi Landau, gave implicit confirmation of the overnight military activity. The policy of the State of Israel is that a certain kind of weapon will not reach the hands of terrorists. It's an important policy, essential, and it must be pursued. For the past three days, tension in the region has been mounting with fears the Syrian conflict appears to be spilling into the wider region. Political analyst Moshe Mayos has his own views. Now, Syria cannot retaliate without an approval of Iran and also Hezbollah. Only Iran can uh, approve because Iran is a great supporter sending the weapons. Uh, I assume that Iran doesn't want uh, to go to war now. They wouldn't do it themselves, but they will uh, instruct uh, Hezbollah to do it, or Syria. This means that it can lead to a war. In Tehran, Parliament Speaker Ali Laranjani condemned Israel whether or not Netanyahu and his government fully acknowledged their actions. This event confirms the Islamic Republic's theory about the recent crisis in the region. The main motive behind the crisis in Syria is to undermine the power of the regional resistance against Israel. Meanwhile, in what appears to be in reaction to a fear of retaliation, Israel has already located two batteries of its Iron Dome missile defense system near Haifa, close to the Lebanese border.